you guys. Happy Monday. Whoop, whoop. So today I'm out with my incredible clients. I have two sets of clients I'm taking out today. So this is the morning jaunt and we are heading to Rayford. We've already had the opportunity to see one incredibly beautiful home. Turn left on and Divide Bar Road. I'm going to let you all have a peek on the inside, see what that one looks like. And now we are headed to the next one, which is in Rayford. This first one was off of Clifdale Road. If you're familiar with the Fable area at in all. 1,000 feet, turn right onto Bingham Drive. What's she talking about? But anyway, just wanted to let you all know that I'm going to take you along with me on the journey today. Have you had a great weekend? Have you finished your Thanksgiving shopping? Are you ready for dinner? I'm ready to eat. I'm super excited about Thanksgiving dinner, um, only because it's my favorite holiday and I love food. <laughs> so anyway, who am I? I'm Garland Price. I'm the broker and owner of Future Turn Properties right LLC. Right. And hey, let's go along on the journey. That may be wondering, do we still have down payment assistance programs available? We do. You can get up to $8,000 in down payment assistance. I have an incredible lender that has access to that program. But you also want to consider a conventional loan. You may have a better chance, first of all, getting pre-approved just based on debt to income ratios and credit scores. But also the rates for um, conventional are phenomenal, right? So I want you to consider that. But give me a call if you have any questions. You can also direct message me here on Facebook. But my phone number is 910 494 Four seven seven nine eight nine one zero four nine four seventy seven ninety eight, and you can also reach me at my website at garlandaprice.com. I look forward to serving you and your incredible family. Here we are at the first home of the day with my first set of clients, and they are looking at this incredibly gorgeous home right centrally smack dab located in between Hope Mills and Fayetteville. I love this home. It is um, a ranch style home and all the bedrooms on the main floor. It has um, a double garage with tons of storage space. This huge great room. All the bedrooms are over to the right. You have the hall bath bathroom has been completely renovated with these beautiful white towels. The bathtub had been refinished and everything just looks so incredibly gorgeous. Fresh new paint throughout, fresh flooring throughout. That beautiful, um, I forget what that gray color is called. It's like all the rage now, but for some reason it escapes my memory. Then we have like a hall closet. I didn't get a good picture of that. Y'all forgive me. I was going kind of fast, but we have two bedrooms on this side in addition to the master bedroom which was very spacious no very beautiful the whole home had all these warm colors throughout it just felt like home when you walked in I really loved it all the bathrooms match you had the wire racking inside of the um, linen closet I'm sorry inside the walk-in closet in the bathroom the backyard looked like a park the kitchen was so open bright and inviting and even though we are at the next home out in Hope County and I love the fireplace this one was lightly staged they had built those bench seats out of some cinder blocks and some wood look at this backyard now if that doesn't look like a park I don't know what does now Hope County is able to have larger yards space but also does have septic tanks when you're out in a certain part of the county this kitchen looks so beautiful with the black appliances along against the um, blonde cabinetry this is a split floor plan so the master bedroom is actually on the opposite side of the home and the other two bedrooms are on this side these bedrooms were a tad bit small I like how that one had the vaulted ceiling and palladium window which made it seem a little bit more spacious oh. and you had a full hall bath over here you had your laundry area and your um single car garage and then you have the master bedroom look at that closet was huge as well you could always add more racks uh -huh. if you wanted yeah. to and okay, the bathroom guys, was just so well staged. I finished with my first clients for this morning who when I say I absolutely adore them they are so fun to be around they have the most incredible singing voices and we just have fun and we have a lot in common um, all of us are in ministry so it's really cool to work with people you have things in common with God is always blessing me with the best clients just like you guys so now we are going to take a quick run to the computer to see what else is out there newly listed on the market so we can meet them much later this afternoon and now I'm on my way after I run the computer check to meet one of my incredible sisters in Christ who is looking for a home and we are going to start out her search today in Stedman, North Carolina. So I'll take you along on the ride to see the big thriving metropolis. It's not big. It is It is thriving. It's not a metropolis though. <laughs> of Stedman, North Carolina. So you guys stay tuned and just hang out with me on today, right? But listen, 
My team is standing by to get you pre-approved. Are you ready to, ready to see if you can get pre-approved for your new home? If so, my team is standing on the ready. We are here to help you get into your home. Believe it or not, even though it would be quite the push, we have time to potentially get you in your home by Christmas if you move quickly. But if not, why not the first of the year? Why not start out January 2021 in your brand new home? We can do it. I want to let you know that sounds like a cheerleader. We can do it. Oh my God. We can, we can do it. That did not sound like a good cheer at all. But anyway, I'm a little rusty. Um, just to let you know, if you have some property that's kind of been sitting vacant or has been sitting vacant, you inherit it or you own it and you're ready to put it on the market, you guys, I'm telling you, now is the best time to list vacant land, depending on where it is. Now is the best time to list um, a home that you have that maybe you've been using as a rental because there's some great money to be made the market is at an all-time high and also at an all-time high so you really can cash in on the equity that you've been you know waiting to potentially tap into in your home and in addition to that there's a shortage of inventory so when there's a shortage of inventory that dries up prices because volume is low so all of a sudden there's this frenzy and you still have time to take advantage of that we see that trend going all the way into 2021 so why why not get take advantage of it now right the sooner the better there are pre-approved buyers out here that literally have no inventory to choose from I would love to be your listing agent I would love to tell you how much you can get for your property your home your land even your commercial space don't wait now is the time God bless you I look forward to talking to you I already know it but let's repeat it okay just for the people in the back row I'm the broker and owner of Fusion Properties LLC I'm Garland the price from the capital to the coast your realtor for life 910-494-7798. So this was one of the homes that I had the opportunity to share with my client. Unfortunately, we didn't win the bid on this home because there are multiple, multiple offers taking place right now. But I just wanted to show it to you since I had photographed it. It's a gorgeous home. It had an incredible floor plan and layout. The only drawback was it didn't have a downstairs master, which is super important to people right now. When you're a buyer, you also have to think from the perspective of one day you may also be a seller. And so what will be super important is that you're able to resell this home. I love that it had a formal dining room. It, the floors were gorgeous. The pantry was huge and incredible. It had judges panels. It had a butler pantry right here that you could use as an office space. It had just an incredible, warm, gorgeous, bright kitchen that opened up. This is the master bedroom, which was huge. I mean, it literally looked like a room within a room. It was so large. The bathroom was gorgeous, dual vanities. The master was large enough to have a couch, full-size furniture, full-size bed. It looked like it had an Amish fireplace in one of the bedrooms, which is so gorgeous. Sorry to go so fast. We were zipping through the house. Um, the laundry room was upstairs. So now we're on our way to of my the next house. Home selling journey today finds me in the thriving metropolis of Lumberton, North Carolina. So remember a few weeks back we actually did a video. She did a video on up and coming markets, and I told you how great the Lumberton market was doing and how a lot of people are looking to move down in this area because of its affordability. I mean, these homes are so gorgeous. They're super inexpensive in comparison to Fayetteville and our surrounding market there. And so I was sharing this with my clients. They decided let's take a drive down and see if they can get more home for their money. And so we're going to look at a few properties here in Lumberton. I thought that was a Halloween decoration or something like that. That's why I paused. And so let's take a look and see what Lumberton has to offer. And again, if you find yourself in the market looking for a new home, I'd love to earn your business. Yeah, I know I said that in the beginning, but I just wanted to remind you, right? So anyway, if I don't get a chance to talk to you all again this week, which I'm sure I will, I pray that you have an incredible Thanksgiving with you and your family and that you will stay safe so to the property now that I'm going to be sharing with my my clients we're pulling up to the first one look how gorgeous that is I'll keep you posted okay so I'm not gonna lie when we pulled up and I walked inside the home it reminded me of my aunt Myrtle's home which was a farm in Rocky Mount which technically was not Rocky Mount it was Whitaker's North Carolina and it was outside of Whitaker's in Enfield North Carolina called Bricks right but that's where my aunt and those owned a home and this home is super old but it was a really beautiful home especially if you love homes built 
not at the turn of the century per se, but like around the 1930 to 1950 time frame is kind of what it reminded me of. It still had all of its original detailing. However, it had been updated with new windows. It had some newer updates with its paint, um, but it still had that um, back in the day feel. I wasn't sure what was going on with that closet, but this looks like it would have been a garage before the day enclosed and turned into another room and it looked really great and on the other side of course is the carport so here it is we're coming through the living room and one thing that really stood out for me on this home was this incredible porch and the living room fireplace the home was really cozy it was just really old so my only concern when someone like look at that porch that's huge like they don't even make porches like that anymore but my only concern with purchasing a home this age is we want to make sure that the electrical the plumbing the wiring and all those things have been updated along with the paint and all the other details so here you have just gorgeous wood floors they've taken the time to do the treads this still has the old um tile from back in the day the pink and the blue tile this room really creeped me out now it's a double bonus room but what was weird about it was it was this red colored wood and it just reminded me of a scary movie i'm not gonna lie but that other bonus room was beautiful you have a single car garage outside you have this huge air conditioning unit which is newer a park like setting backyard a wired gazebo here we're on our way to the next home another thing that i really do love about lumberton is if you don't mind the age of the home you don't mind the 30 minute drive from fayetteville every home is unique there's bungalow there's cottage the style there's mansion style there's this adorable home which reminded me of a bungalow and cottage so i'm going to take you inside with me for you to take a look at it and see what it looks like we did end up going inside this home and i was going to film inside but honestly i thought i saw a shadow run by i'm not lying and that's when i stopped filming because i was like later on i don't want to see something show up in my video but it was a really great home my clients decided that this was not the place they were going to call home but they did like the inside but the details in it just didn't make sense here we are at the next home which is also in downtown lumberton this one had been nicely finished and this is a huge huge home like the ceilings were about 12 feet that beautiful door right there we just passed the detailing on the staircase and all the treads it had all been redone it had the original hardwood floors um all of the doors some of them still had the beautiful glass knobs that i just totally love some they didn't have the skeleton keys but the knobs were beautiful here it is there were the french doors leading into the dining room the kitchen had been updated with this really rich looking um black granite also it had blonde counter blonde cabinets i want to say and it was just really nicely done it also had like a little porch area off the back and a laundry room along the back and it had this yummy looking gray tile um, backsplash in the kitchen as well outside it also had a storage shed and a single car garage and so it also had these stainless steel appliances what's really different to me is how all of these had these detached garages and that probably was something back in the day again this home was probably built around 1940 1950 but look how high all the ceilings are and they have these built-in cabinetry inside the hallway and again it had all these updated details where it had been completely painted all the hardwood floors were refinished i had no clue what was in that little door down there we were not going to open that and i was not opening closets in this home right but it's a jack and jill bathroom all the main bathrooms were downstairs with the um two more bedrooms upstairs this one was across from a florist and i think literally within walking distance of downtown lumberton so very conveniently located and just a lot of space so as we left this room you walk back out into the hallway a really long hall lots of storage out there i love how they had put all the updated light fixtures in but they still really left all the details and the character of the home that beautiful molding on the fireplace so i was brave enough to go upstairs because my clients were up there as well so it felt pretty safe and they had redone this bathroom and i loved how it had all the white tile detailing and how it had the new vanity over in this room was another bedroom upstairs with the split air conditioning unit built-in bookshelves built-in um storage shelves where you could put your little tchotchkes and knickknacks the flooring up here was beautiful as well i just felt like the ceilings were a little low they decided not to call lumberton home but i'm glad i got to share it with you